Belgrade, Rewriting of the History. Historic Core, Belgrade Fortress. Have you read fairy tales about knights? Watched cartoons? Remember castles and fortresses surrounded by water? And bridges that go up and down. Something like that still exists today. Not on some distant and imaginary place, already here in Belgrade. Lower town of Belgrade's fortress is just like that. Few people know this fact because today it is under earthen embankments, but it's all very easily restored in its original form. That would no doubt be unique. Tourist, cultural, historical, attraction around the world. See what it might look like and what potential are we losing by building an apartment block in a protected area of cultural property of exceptional importance. Weight of the upper town plateau from the base is 33 meters. K district up to 10 stories, 35 meters height. High vegetation of the zoo does not fully reveal the visual significance of the fortification from the direction of a K district. View from the Bako building now. Between two world wars. Reconstruction. The part of the fortress that accentuated the sculpture of the victor by landscaping, as well as the fortification elements. Institute for the Protection of Cultural Monuments of Serbia, website. Information system of the immovable cultural property. Immovable cultural property of exceptional importance, Belgrade Fortress. Decision of the recognition of the immovable cultural property. Protection Proximity Limits Belgrade Fortress has formed in the period from 1st to 18th century. The boundaries of the immediate vicinity of the cultural monument provide preservation of the urban value of Belgrade's fortress. In addition, they ensure that the fortress with Kalamegdan Park permanently remains the special and strongest accent of the panorama of Belgrade with its Sava and Danube sides. The view of the Danube upon project completion. The view of the Danube before the beginning of the project. The view of the Deaf Gardener Gate. Future. Past. Despot Tower, 15th century. View from the Zindan Gate, 15th century.
Jaksic Tower, 15th century. St. Petka Church. Pool Center, 25th May. Ivan Antic, Serbian architect and academian of Sanu, professor of the Faculty of Architecture in Belgrade, author of the project of the Sports Center, 25th May. It is the duty of us architects to make a building that will not stand out of the ambience, which will be beautiful, which will be with all that contains a measure, a subconscious dose of built-in norms and love for the city where you were born and where you grew up. Sports and Recreation Center, 25th May. Modern sculptural solution coordinated with the environment of the general interest. Upcoming view from the Danube. The only save medieval ambience in its entirety at the fortress. The best view on this complex is from the Northeast and the Danube. Preserved rampart below earthen embankment. A small portion of the ramparts, which can be reconstructed. New construction is leaning on the edge of the streets and permanently traced road position. The distance of the existent rampart from the new construction Moat from 18th century. Part of the fortification, bastion, built in the middle of the 18th century on the site of a somewhat older bastion. Moat. It is above today intersection. Veden Gate, which is today from threshold levels visible. Just an overhead segment of the bastion is pierced through the curtain wall because of the road. And the far part of the bastion on the other side of the boulevard is located today in the original undamaged condition. This was the most monumental entrance complex in the lower town in the time of Austrian and later in Ottoman rule in Belgrade. New construction, which does not take into account position along the very edge of the moat and occupies the outer defensive part of the fortress called Glacius or in Turkish Kalamegdan. Kalamegdan that the new buildings occupy could look like this. Vidin Fortress Gate is still well preserved.
It has four side rooms with fireplaces that are served to house the guards. In front of the gate was a ditch filled with water, crossed by a wooden bridge. Today, the entire area is covered with embankments and so modified that it is hard to imagine its former appearance. In place of the water surface is parking for buses, and the glacis is covered by tram rails. This certainly degraded this part of the fortress. Archaeologist Marko Popovich, PhD, a decades-long researcher of the Belgrade Fortress within the eponymous Scientific Research Project and Documentation Center at the Archaeological Institute, whose founder and manager he was for many years. Significance of the Vidin Gate for Belgrade is enormous. From Vidin Gate, there was a street towards the outer Vidin Gate, which was since the Austrian period, Main City Street. Vidin Gate and the Menschen Road had a key role in the development of most of the settlement, which from the Turkish period to this day bears a name, Dorsho. The upper part of the fortification is almost in the original form, only hidden by vegetation. Condition from the first half of the 18th century in relation to the new construction. Current situation. Uncovered ditch and a reconstructed entrance and glacius is shown. The proximity of the new building in relation to the still prominent fortification. Proximity to the new construction in relation to existing fortification, with the moat and bastion returned to full height in a reconstructed covered way. New construction on foundations of the Baroque fortification from the first half of the 18th century. The current situation with the boulevard, which the new buildings have adopted without re-examination, prevents the revitalization of the lower town in the unforeseeable future. Danube Gate View towards the restored bastion. Through the Danube Gate is entrance to the bay, which in the Middle Ages was a civilian harbor. Gate of Charles VI, 1736.
the outer side of the Danube Gate, which exists entirely under the earthen embankment. The ravelin of the Danube Gate is visible below the ground. Fully preserved rampart. Ten story building. Current state with completed residential buildings. Reconstruction of space based on existing elements. Site plan from 1736, important for determining archaeological and historical wealth of the site and injuries thereof. Revitalize current site plan, but with objects threatening its realization. An unfavorable solution for a cultural monument according to the planned project. Space with potential for green surface that would relieve the ramparts of the fortress of invasive vegetation, part of the traffic bypass with parking space. Urbanistically unobtrusive solution in the public interest. That would increase the quality of the tourist attraction of Belgrade Fortress as a cultural monument. Belgrade Fortress, like Golubitz Fortress and Dechini Monastery, according to the law of the Republic of Serbia, are equalized by type of immovable cultural property, cultural monuments, and by category, immovable cultural properties of exceptional importance. Three cultural properties of identical treatment. In the case of Dejcini, the state of Serbia trying to prevent road construction near the protected zone of the monastery. In the case of Golubitz, the road that passed through the fortress has now been relocated and passes through a tunnel. In the case of the Belgrade fortress, by building a K district, the traffic intensity is increasing and the construction of the K-District made relocation impossible of roads that pass through and along the fortress. Undergoing expansion of Dunovska Street has already started. Confirmation to the investor, City of Belgrade, confirms the application of works that includes the construction of two traffic lanes in both directions with accompanying infrastructure exclusively for the needs of the new construction. Instead of the city and the fortress descending on the Danube, which would be in the public interest, the road increases the noise level, pollution, and traffic intensity in the Green Belt Zone. If only the roads next to the mentioned examples of cultural monuments have a detrimental effect on them, how to explain high-rise buildings? Unanswered questions remain. What happened to the graves of Serbian soldiers who lost their lives in the defense of Belgrade in 1915? Whose remains were everywhere in the coastal area of Dorcho? At least 53 skeletons of soldiers were found just by digging this underpass. In the immediate vicinity of the new building. What happened to these archaeological findings? It is known that it was this part, a suburb of the city from the 13th century. Gump's map from 1688 has been identified as the oldest. Preserved cartographic document with a high degree of reliability. It speaks of the presence of the developed settlements in this place. The natural expansion of the Danube Bank, the ground level, has risen, which was a convenience to preserve archaeological remains for later discoveries. The site plan from a few years ago shows a clean situation for the right urban steps. The previous light assembly halls from the Bako factory had not foundations other than a concrete flat base, while the rest of the plot for the most part was undeveloped. 
a seemingly ideal set of circumstances because we can see 2010 map of archaeological excavations and in this area from 1936 to 2010. No excavations have been done. Where are the research results in the last 10 years? Settlement from 15th century. Fortress from early 18th century. In urban planning department in Belgrade, a lot of studies have been done. Which one of the studies were accepted? Common conclusion of the studies. The fortress is the most important structure and around it is a green belt. Are there reactions from many professional organizations, citizens associations, educational and scientific heritage institutions in Serbia? As it existed for construction of cable car, Belgrade Fortress and its surroundings, included in the 2020 list of seven most endangered sites in Europe. Fortress, iconic symbol of Belgrade, is endangered from devastating cable car project. Its exceptional position delivers beautiful, also protected by law, views to the confluence of Sava and Danube. Europa Nostra report on the proposed cable car project. It is an outstanding example of a multi-layered fortified architectural complex developed in the long period from the first to the 18th century AD. The fortress forms a unity with the surrounding landscape. Views from and to the Belgrade fortress open to the Sava and Danube rivers. View from the fortress on the Danube. From the Danube to the fortress. Need to preserve an irreplaceable cultural and natural heritage site. Need to avoid irreversible damage to the authenticity and integrity of the multi-layered heritage. By injecting 75 concrete pillars will cause immediate and irreparable loss to the archeological heritage. And as requested by leading UNESCO, documents also adopted by Serbia, a heritage impact assessment study should be carried out to examine whether the integrity and the authenticity of the site would indeed be preserved. The inscription of the Belgrade Fortress to UNESCO is a unique opportunity for ensuring long-term preservation, sustainable tourism development, and international cultural branding of Belgrade and Serbia. However, should the cable car project be implemented, a rejection of this nomination is more than likely. The Belgrade planning documents safeguard the area and viewpoints of the fortress. The valid and current general urban plan of Belgrade defines the site as having an utter historical significance and as being a permanent public good for the city. It imposes the protection of the views and vistas to and from the fortress. Is there an analogy of the cable car project and the K district project in terms of threat to cultural monuments? Since the cable car situation is smaller and close to the fortress and the K district is incomparably bigger and on the fortress, a reminder of how today attractive locations used to be. Do we want forever buried treasures from our history at the expense of large residential complexes, business and service facilities? The fortress and its potential to remain only as an island from the upper town, surrounded by busy roads, noise and pollution? 
a space where green areas will be reduced to narrow line parks along dense four lane roads? Or do we want a green oasis as a rounded cultural and historical national treasure? A complex for relaxation and knowledge acquisition where we will enjoy in a unique ambience from ancient times. This is not an individual case, but a major urban change that will continue in the direction of the modernization of this part of the city, which was supposed to remain as a unique complex of protected nature and cultural heritage. New construction occupies part of the fortification prevents the revitalization of the lower town, covers the view from the fortress to the Danube, covers the view from the Danube to the fortress, reduces tourist and educational potential of the cultural and historical monument. A single space at the level of the entire state is lost. The ambience in its entirety is lost. Permanent consequences remain. New construction project, although it may have short-term aspects of economic justification, brings loss of invaluable cultural heritage, which is irreplaceable. Northeastern part of the upper town, below the medieval ramparts and the northeastern part of the lower town, have not experienced this treatment of revitalization and landscaping, as we have in the northwestern part near Wichter or in southwest in the area of Kalamagden. This is not an indicator that this space is of diminished value. On the contrary, the lower town holds older archaeological strata because during a denivalization of the upper town at the beginning of the 18th century, a layer of the Middle Ages was lost. While in the lower town, these layers were preserved. A rail that has passed until recently and Lower Town Boulevard are one of the reasons why this space could not gain an importance, and no archaeological research on that move has been conducted. The unfavorable situation of the part of the fortress has been taken the advantage of for the construction. The Lower Town of which in the indefinite future could have shined in the form of an arranged complex. Like this part of the monument of culture becomes inferior ignoring the significance of cultural and historical value we have, we write a new history.